Hey guys, in today's Affinity Designer tutorial we will design together this F monochrome logo you see right here. And first of all we need to start with a new clean canvas. And in this new clean canvas we are going to type in an F by using the text tool right here. Clicking and typing in a big F. Um, selecting and I'm cho I've chosen the font Righteous. Um, from the Google Fonts right here. You can use any font you want, but that's for my um, basic shape, basic layout of the F. And then we also need the triangle tool. Um, you can select it right here. If you don't see it right here, just click on the um, little triangle but underneath and then select triangle tool, create a triangle as you want and then make um, the top to the left and then transform by flipping vertical and then we have this um, vertical flipped and one-sided triangle and then we can move our F um, above this triangle making sure that the layer is above and also change the color to something brighter. I'm using command set because I want to undo this I want to change this color so so we can see it better and then making it bigger till it fits right here maybe like this and then before we start um, creating the basic layout for our logo I would recommend using my snapping adjustments right here so you have um, the same snapping points I have um, which is um, way better and way easier to create this um, layout with, this starting layout with. And now we are zooming in to um, so we have a better view um, while working and then we can select the pen tool right here or clicking P on our keyboard. And we start by selecting right here and right here to the corner. Then we need to go down to this. We can go right here, right here, then we have to hold down shift so we go in one line and we have to select right here and then to the to uh, bottom like uh, right here. If you don't have a snapping point right here because it don't select this little corner right here, you can um, help yourself by using a rectangle for example like this um, snapping right here and creating and then you have a snapping point for sure. So sometimes um, the snapping points aren't um, um, available in um, areas like this and you can help yourself with a rectangle or something like this. So we need to keep going, clicking P again and continuing right here, clicking right here, then going here and then we have to make um, a snapping right here, clicking right here and at the top again and now we have a finished curve because we've um, pause, paused uh, in the middle of the cre uh, creation we have to select both by holding down command or control if you're using windows command for mac pcs and then clicking on a or selecting the node tool right here and then we can click on join curves and we can um, make this invisible and this visible um, only filling um, the inside not the stroke with black we have our first prototype um, for our first layout for our logo and we can now use the node tool further clicking on the node tool or selecting a on your keyboard and then maybe uh, adjusting till you are satisfied so i want to set this down one shift step so this, this is a step of 10 pixels if you're using only the arrows you're only moving one pixel like this so only hard to see if you're holding down shift you're moving down 10 pixels in one step so i'm holding down shift and bottom and going down one and two and also selecting those both making it down by one and this up by one and now I will undo that I think this looks better maybe go down one again like this and what we now have to do we have to adjust this line right here because this is not now um, now more inside so we have to select our pen tool again click here and here whole, uh, clicking V or um, on the move tool right here and making this longer and now click on the no tool again A and click on this little um, point and hold down shift so we have one line again like this not like this so we have one line again and we are moving to the line till we have the snapping of the line and also with the bottom 
point to the snapping point. And now we have to cut out this little piece so we can make this um, um, an extra part. We can change the color from and um, move it to the top and so on. So first of all, we are using our pen tool again, clicking here and clicking here. And then we are duplicating our curve cl uh, by clicking down V for the move tool, command C for copy, command V for paste. If you're using Windows, you can um, do this with control instead of command. And we're giving the stroke a little color so we can see it better like this. And making the stroke maybe one PT. And also here one PT. And now we're selecting we're deleting this again because it's bugged a little bit i see so we're now copying again copy and paste and now moving to the right with shift and the arrows i would like to do two so um 20 pixels to the right you can do it as you want and now we need our pen tool again selecting here 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 and here and here then um, making our stroke transparent and making our filling something um, brighter than our V currently. We can delete these help lines right here now. And now we can um, use the move tool to adjust this a little bit to make sure that the cut is um, um, is not bugged. We are moving it above the um, ends a little bit. And now we are selecting both curves, making sure that this um, this rectangle we want to cut out is above the F. And if we only want to cut out, we click right here, but we want to separate. So we have two different um, objects we can color differently. So we're clicking on geometry and then on divide. And then we delete all of the other parts that we've got from this division. And now we have um, our curve right here. We can now move it to the top with our shift and arrow keys, for example, like this. And one, two, three, just make sure that it looks um, good. You can do it as you want. I want it to be um, um, the same um, distance right here and right here. So maybe one to the top again. So this should be good for this tutorial. And now we are selecting this curve and we are selecting C and we can now adjust this one, for example, with 50 if we want to. And this one, we have to check um, when it's uh, looking the same. So when the distance is exactly the same. So maybe 30 or 28 or 20 or maybe a bit more 32 and this seems to be good maybe 34 that's also up to you we now also have to adjust our line right here again and um, so we're using the pen tool again and right here like we did before and selecting this one selecting a and to the right and to the right again with holding down shift and if you want to, we could also make this a little bit um, 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 more to the downside also by this. And then we have would have to adjust the line again. But for this tutorial, I'm keeping it like this. And now if you want to, you can also start playing around with the other corners. So selecting the C tool. Um, the C tool is the corner tool by clicking down C on your keyboard. And then you could also play around with these corners if you want to and with this one or just keep it like this um, and make some um, corners just a little bit smoother by giving a little radius of two pixels. So we just don't have this um, hard corners or uh, more this soft ones. So that's up to you as you want it. And um, like I um, showed right here, I created this one and you can then now um, just select this one curve and give it another color, for example, clicking right here and for example, some red tone, maybe some softer red like this and um, use it as a logo, monochrome logo, whatever you want to. So um, just be a little bit creative and work around with this a little bit. So to manifest the skills and yeah, that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video.
and bye. Thank <laughs> you.